I mean, I'm very flattered to have been picked for the, for the Dame to Kill for the femme fatale. Um, it's, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy, you know, because it's such uh, a multi-dimensional, you know, role. You've made me a very rich woman. You cannot defeat us. This time they crossed a fatal line. Ava is, is like um, an enchantress, a siren. She casts spells on men, you know, she can read men's mind and uh, she can become what they want her to be. And with Dwight, uh, it's very interesting because there's a true connection. He's different from the other men. He's probably the only man that she could have ever loved, but she's kind of caught up by her own demons. Uh, but there's a, there's a possibility of love with Dwight. The goddess makes slaves of men. Slaves of men. She owns me, body and soul. When she wishes it, we die. Josh Brolin is uh, playing my Dwight. He is, uh, I've always admired him as an actor, so I had to pinch myself, uh, you know, oh my God, it's him, it's Josh Brolin. Uh, he is a very, um, very intense actor, a very expressive face, uh, perfect uh, for that kind of genre, you know, film noir, you know, his, his very sharp features um, and, yeah, extremely talented, so I was very lucky to work with him. That there is a name to kill for. Sin City's where you go in with your eyes open. Or you don't come out at all. Sin City is a, it's a very specific style, it's very iconic extremely visual and I've never seen that before. It's, um, it's kind of retro with a bit of sci-fi in it and film noir, it's very unusual. And I mean, it's just very beautiful. And I, maybe that, I mean, uh, the Sin City 2 sounds like it's gonna be a different object, 3D and um, you know, new tricks from Robert. Uh, it will be a, a nice surprise, I'm sure. Be a man. I hope you don't mind me saying this, but that there is a name to kill for. 